Podcast Ranger. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Extra Extra Cast Ranger. I bought lots of toys! Woo! We know. <laughs> Lane bought toys. I bought lots of toys. Stop the presses! News of the century, stop the episode, <laughs> we're see. good. Let's but see. I actually I bought got, the same thing as I well. Got, I got a cube, I got animal cubes, I got a pink icon... Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't already realize it, Lane is an absolute whore for the newest Toku toy. And I, period. And I got an evil talking bell. <laughs> yep. How interesting. Who's, I brought a gun. Who screams, begging his son not to kill him with an axe that told him to fucking kill him. Strange. That's what happened with between me and my brother last weekend. <laughs> You know, we didn't talk about it much when that happened, but I'd just like to point out the fact that this is one of very, very few instances where a tokusatsu hero not only listens to, but acknowledges and blatantly points out the stupid shit their equipment is saying. That time that that time that the guys in Gaim actually met Ryoma and, and realized, like, oh, oh wait, so that thing my belt says, that's you who did that? On stage, wow. Night of you, Spear? You, I oh, thought it was funny. I thought it was funny at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, that makes perfect sense with the, arguably the first lock seed, Lemon. Suteki no Ryoma. Yeah. Oh, incredible Ryoma. Yeah, yeah, Incredible Ryoma. That's what it was. So, yes. Makes, it was great. I love moments like that. <clears throat> Alright, so. Uh, news stories for this week are actually kind of sparse, but there's enough to keep us talking. Oh, yeah. That's his tradition. So, By the way, Gar's not here. <clears throat> yeah. We sent him so to get no more... Ultraman. Thanks for confirming it. We, we sent we sent him out to get more cookies. The story he wanted us to put forth is that he tried magic and vanished, but that's a bad story. So <gasps> I don't believe it. He magic. random he learned the teleport spell and it sent oh, him yeah. off some fucking where. <laughs> now that Gar's not here, let's talk bad things about him. <laughs> no. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I know you do it to me. I listen to the podcast. No, we 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 love you, and whenever you're not here, we miss you. Yeah, actually. Remember that time you went to China? <laughs> I ran down the street and fucking glommed you. Yes, That's so how much did. I missed you. Yes, yes, and then I wish I was another ocean away from you as soon as you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. By the way, I'm going to China again. No! <laughs> going to Japan! I'm going to be East Caster by the time I come back. East Caster. <laughs> I will return to the land of dragons one day. The level from Mulan? Oh my King god, Mars? I just realized. I can have him like... I can have Q lie like Linky look like he's like sitting on his like um oh, yeah. sitting. Aww. Lane, I don't think anyone Aww. picked up what you just said. This is this Cube is what I heard. Man, this is what I just heard. <laughs> and the cube lion was oh. He's sitting on his paws. Okay, Lane, uh, Lane is derping around with Cube Lion. That's the news. He's that, so derpy. I that, love him. That's the news. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the only reason why I bought Geo King was because I wanted Cube Lion. Okay, going to our actual news stories. I decided this should be the first thing we should talk about because I'm feeling the most strongly about it. Oh! So they revealed magazine scans of Deep Spectre's weapon, the Deep Slasher. Bandai, you should also, be ashamed of yourself. Also, a still slightly darkened but a lot more clear than before Deep Spectre's image L- in the Lane. background. Mm. Bandai doesn't have shame to begin with. True. Okay, so I get that Deep Spectre is supposed to be his version of Tokan Boost, but that doesn't excuse why his weapon is literally a pellet swap in the Sunglass Slasher! And the worst part of it all is it's not going to be packaged with any icons. It doesn't even come with the Deep Spectre icon! Okay, for those of you who are listening to this, not watching the video, let me just say this about this thing. This would be right at home in an Elton John performance. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's how loud these are. Pink now, sunglasses. Now, I'm just going to say this right now. My question. So, who had the sacrifice of their soul to make this form? <laughs> Canon. Oh. Oh, <laughs> God. You might, you might have something there. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Canon, okay. sacri- Canon after being revived and wasting Dr. <laughs> Wynn, sacrifices herself to make a new form for her brother. I'm going to be pissed off. Okay, so my biggest point of contention is, you lazy fucks! Okay. You fucking come on! A palette swap! I will, you know what, though? This is a better looking version of it, at least. because No! The, no, red, the, the red version makes sense because it's fire! 
No, but I don't like that it's all red. At least this has some color. It wasn't. It, it was and red like and it. white. And the sunglasses were black. Still. This is just straight up blue and pink, and it looks horrid. And That's why Lane likes it. It has pink on it. But that I like blue, and I don't like this. No, I... I I don't want to get this either. So. This looks. Yet yeah, you're going to. No, I'm not. I guarantee it. I don't care about Spectre. You're gonna watch. It I actually do, use and it I don't guys. want it. You're guys. gonna. You're gonna fucking watch him use it in the show, and then suddenly you're gonna change your mind, and I'll be all like, I'm gonna buy it. Lane, look. You say you're not gonna buy this thing. Well, I, you know what? I want you to do one thing. Hmm? Look in your hand. Oh. There it is. Look at my machine. Speaking of, I actually, someone pulled some sound effects out of the recent Comrider game, including that one. Oh. All of the sound effects for the DLC Tokan Boost character, mm-hmm. which come with the sounds for Tokan Boost, Goemon, Ryoma Himiko, and Grateful Damashi. I don't know why, but this goes to my head. Every time I hear Rekamabushi, just like that chime or whatever like that, I just see like Sai doing his dance from Gundam style to it. And I just want to gift that forever. Okay. Rekamabushi. Yeah. Oh god, if he uses the same sounds too, that's gonna be fucking lazy. Oh, this already looks god, lazy to begin not. with. So, so yes, it's probably gonna use <clears> the same big, sound big disappointment. Mm-hmm. Let's so. so. So apparently, the actual full name of this weapon is the Extreme Loaded DX Deep Slasher. <laughs> what the, what, <laughs> the Extreme what, Loaded? What, what year is this? Ninety yeah. five. Yeah. <laughs> extreme, extreme Loaded Deep Slasher. Don't tubular, you, dude. Didn't you, didn't you hear? Popular culture and uh, over in Asia is like twenty years behind. That is true. I've been there. Uh, no, you know, you know what this reminds me of? like uh, off topic, but uh, one of my favorite things at, at Dairy Queen is the chocolate extreme Blizzard. Ooh. It tastes great. It's like it, it's it, it's if you have your cho- if you need your chocolate fetish satisfied, it's like brownie and chocolate. It's great. It tastes Ooh. amazing. Oh. I feel like an absolute jackass every time I ask for one. Yeah, because I'm like. Can I get a medium blizzard? What kind? A chocolate extreme? <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, right? I feel like I'm four. No, you have to own it. You just have to go, because I want a chocolate extreme! You want to, t- you want to, you want to talk something that actually kind of relevant, and the, I did own it in the moment? Okay. Okay, I'll tell you a story. Because um, I can't think of any other time to say this one. So one time I'm at a, at a HMV in, in Toronto, right? And, uh, you know, I'm just going around, I'm picking up my, like, I'm looking for, like, my general weird movie stuff. But then, this was when this was kind of new, I see they have season one of Mighty Morphin on DVD, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a copy I own that actually got signed by Jason David Frank, by the way. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, I'm like, oh, I gotta buy this. Like I said, this was when it was new, and way before Power Rangers was on Netflix, right? So all you could ever find were, like, shitty rips. So I want to buy it, but there's the the girl behind the counter I, I had a bit of a crush on because I I, oh. I I used to go in there all the time and talk with her, and like the store was about to close, <laughs> so maximum drama. Yeah, like and I, and, no, and I'm not a word of a lie. It was a Friday, so I was going home for the weekend. <laughs> so like, this would have been perfect to have on the weekend, right? So I'm like, oh, I don't want to. The fuck it. I walk up. Loud and proud, I slap that shit on the counter. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> and, and she goes, she said, "Oh, cool." <laughs> we just, it was simple. <laughs> I made it much, sound much more dramatic, but, oh, that's but I just literally Mighty Morphin just slammed it down on the counter. <laughs> Milk, smash Mighty Morphin Power. Milk, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate extremes. <laughs> I just want like just. Like, if Sona Zakiryu and just walked to a Dairy Queen and just like, Hi, sir, uh, how can I help you? I'd like a uh, blizzard. Uh, what kind? Chocolate Egg Extreme! So, yeah, check out the Chocolate Extreme. <laughs> Raven's face is just like non sponsored. Fucking nerd. I'll be honest, stupid name aside, it is a, if you're into chocolate, that's how you get it in you. So, <laughs> put the gun down, for fuck's sake. It's pretty extreme. Lane, how about I use my stick on you then? Gross. You can choose. <laughs> you with Gross. the king sword. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like the magazine. Wow, that was only the first one. 
All right, right moving on. Uh, Man, this before, one sucks. Before we move on to the next story, let's just take a moment to look at this silhouetted design oh, yes, of Deep yes, Spectre. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't I, know. I'm, I'm still totally correct that it's Common Rider Kubia. Jesus fucking Christ. It, I, I think Zoom in. Cool. It looks like he's got the same face graphic as Spectre. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say I do like the, the horns on this one a lot because they kind of look like, like the deer antler horns you see on old samurai masks. Or like on Shinron. It's so cool. that's cool. It's clearly supposed to be like demonic fire. Yeah, but, but like uh, just this angle. It looks like the jacket is sort of like purple themed. And His the undersuit kind of looks like Chaser's white, color it's white, scheme. It's, it's white and blue. Oh, okay. So, interesting. Wait, go down. Okay, if you look at these glasses quickly enough, doesn't that look like Waspinator? His face? Kind of. The big like, eyes and like the thing in the middle. Like, a little bit. <laughs> That's eh. cool. But yeah, Ech. there's our shot Ech. at Deep Spectre for now. We'll probably have a better one by next week. We will see. <laughs> All right. Next on news, more. So I remember a while ago we mentioned that uh, Hiro Mizushima, aka Kamen Rider Kabuto, had been confirmed as appearing on HBO's Girls, and that appearance has happened. Did he have an awkward sex scene? We can only hope. Because Ichi, that's what that show is. Ichi, have you been watching Girls? No, this is just in the news feed. Wait, Blaine, wait. you know who's in Girls? Oh my god, the fucking episode he's in is called Japan. Of course it is. Wait, is this it right here? This is a clip of it. Oh, wait, let's see wait, it. Blaine, like, do you not know who's in this show? No. Adam Driver. This is how he got it. This is how he got known. Oh. So apparently Kylo Ren from Force Awakens. If you so don't wait, 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 wait. There's a show where Kylo Ren is in it, but also Kabuto. Oh, oh. can I? Can we have that matchup, please? So apparently, in this episode, he they have gay sex in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's girls. I can believe it. <laughs> girls, girls. They have a very awkward gay sex scene. Oh. And then, and and then one stabs the other. You see? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. super speed. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> so apparently in this episode, Hiro Mizushima plays a surprising no one, a Japanese man who will work alongside Shoshana, played by Zosia Mamet, a newcomer to the country. This is Mizushima's first role in a foreign production, and the episode airs Sunday at 10 p.m. Uh, exclusively on HBO. All right, we're gonna quickly watch the clips. So let's watch the clip. <laughs> we're gonna pause while we watch this. Okay, um... So, so that clip didn't really feature him too much, but... You saw him, they mentioned how much of a celeb he is, so... <laughs> if you watch Girls, go for it. I say I'm not a fan of the show myself. Never but... even knew it existed. <laughs> Apparently he's the man who will stand at the top of this episode of Girls. No, he'll, he's the man who will stand at the top of watching... No, he's, he's the man who will stay on top in bed. There you go. <laughs> hey, He's the man who will sit by while a dude gets whipped and poured hot wax on him. Well, and I'm that. okay with that. <laughs> That'll get people looking Pretty for... Pretty standard day in Japan. That'll get people looking for this clip. <laughs> Alright, next story. <laughs> so, good to see some... <clears throat> so, uh, actually, before that, not a fan of the show, but it is kind of neat to see the, uh, the cross-cultural thing going on there. Oh, yeah, no, that's always interesting. Oh, like this. Yay! Please be true, please. Okay, so the official Superhero Year website posted a teaser image for a new Common Rider project uh, with a countdown, and there's a silhouette of a rider on it, and I don't really necessarily agree with this assumption, but a lot of people are thinking based on the shape and the, the styles. Pose. And, that, the, and the fucking claw marks and the fucking logo. Yeah, that it may be a Kamen Rider Amazon movie of some sort. Now, Gar, when I shouldn't believe him at the time, because sometimes he is full of shit, but I I love you, Gar, you know that. He says that it's apparently, like, the new Gamba Rider for G the Gamba Rising game. But why would they promote that in relation to the each yeah, game? Yeah, right? Movie? So, no. I I really hope this new theme, because one of my things in Jalider was, like, a modernization of Amazon. And so if That would be cool. Like, should, fucking awesome. Maybe you should clarify what Jalider was for people who don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. So, if you're new to the listen podcast, we had a thing last year called uh, Common Jalider, which is where the whole month of July... 
each uh, day we posted like a picture of something, a little tip. It's about like something. one of those thirty day Facebook yeah, favorite, favorite rider, favorite, favorite, favorite kid, favorite show, favorite, favorite show, side yeah. character. Yeah, so yeah, um, we're hoping that in September we're gonna do September for Sentai. <laughs> yeah, so oh, I'm gonna have a really short list. Go Kaiser, go Kaiser, go Kaiser, Tokyo Your list won't your list won't be short. You'll have a long a list that's thirty days long, like the rest of us. It'll just all be go Kaiser. Oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> but anyway, Lane. So I'm mean, I'm excited for Amazon if it is, which it does look like it will be. I, you think they'll have him uh, dodge another train again? The only the only <laughs> the only issue I see with that assumption is he's missing the fucking things on the back. That's of the exactly what I was about to say. I don't it's, think it's he Amazon. Does have, like, he does have like little spikes going downwards on the back of his helmet, and he's kind of mi- judging by the a- angle of the fin on the top of his head. He's kind of missing those. That's what I'm. Sa- that's what I was saying. That's why so, I don't think it's Amazon because it's not Sonic the Hedge Rider. Yeah, it, it's not. Unless it is a redesign. Exactly. Like I it, think, no, it, I don't think they would. Cha- they would get rid of something. Well, so, I like, see it is because if you my look- my immediate thought was a sequel to the next. Oh, maybe. Like, we're finally going to continue on and do the remake movie for Amazon. Okay, okay but here's what... We kind of skipped X. To but, go yeah. against what you're saying about the head frills, though, look at his arms. Look at the things hanging from his wrists in the silhouette. They're there. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Like, we're bo- I, we both have things that are going with and against, yeah. so... Who knows? <clears throat> well, Who knows? we'll find out a week from now. Yeah. Yes. It, it says in the article, more information will be revealed after seven days. So, Ooh. by next week, we'll have some info. Sweet. It would be cool to see reveals in seven days. Seven days. You're all gonna. I'm my song. I love doing that. Uh, some news on the Ninja Steel front. I was like, why is the ninja on the screen? <laughs> ninja Steel. Uh, apparently they're currently undergoing casting for Power Rangers Ninja Steel, and they've confirmed that Judd Lynn is back as the executive producer. Cool. Who, uh, as we, as most Power Ranger fans know, was the executive producer of Dino Charge and Super Dino Charge, and he is best known for his older work in Power Rangers Space up to Time Force. So yeah. some of the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so who knows? Who knows? Right. <clears throat> so that could be a good thing for Nin- Ninja Dub. With uh, with Ninja Steel, we've talked about the incredibly out there premise. Who knows? Maybe this will, if it works out, th- this will show. Hey, sometimes it's it. It works to take a risk. It'll be another RPM, maybe. Who knows? Uh, as we, as it stands, Ninja Steel is set for a 2017 premiere on Nickelodeon, and uh, we'll see what other news comes forth. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Next, they released official images of the Legacy Black and Gold Dragon Zord. Oh, that is it is sexy, gorgeous. Ah, uh, I might need, actually buy it. Just need it to go with that fucking Black and Gold Megazord. I and know, right? And then you can combine them, right? Literally, there. Right, 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 right that. It so looks that. awesome. Jesus Christ! What if they release a gold, uh, Black and Gold Titanus? Oh, that would be neat. Nice. Expensive. Expensive as fuck. I need to go dig out my Black and Gold Megazord. It's not going to be compatible with this one, Raymond. I know, I've got the old one. And normal Dragon Zord that works with it. Basically, today. it's great to look at, but at the yeah, it's just the black and gold Dragon Zord. Although, like, the green, there are some red parts on it, too. If you look Shit, at the images. man. You uh, fucked it up. No other information has been released other than that it was seen in the recent Toy Fair 2016. And, as expected, it will combine with the Legacy Megazord. You know, I'll tell you something. I always, I, not, I never disliked the Dragon Zord, obviously, but I was one of the only people, at least in my group of friends, who preferred it when it combined with the Megazord. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I, I just, I never like, I mean, <clears throat> I, it was cool when it fought on its own, but like, I don't know, like maybe it was just me because like all my friends were just like, no, it's cooler on its I own. I kind of, I kind of preferred the combination with the freaking Triceratops and Saber. Yeah, yeah. Like, fighting mode. It was yeah, cool. yeah, the fighting mode. I'll always remember as a kid. I always got excited uh, when it just burst out of the water. Yeah. Was so just, that was epic. yeah. You got fucking Godzilla. I'm fucking Godzilla. Godzilla. With, me. with Mecha Godzilla hands. I I lo- yeah, I was gonna say I love just watching it like shoot shit out of its fingers. Okay, you want me? <laughs> Next time you guys watch uh, Power Rangers, look for this. Whenever the uh, Dragon Zord is about to go into battle mode, there's the part where its hands fold into itself. Yeah, yeah right? I just love how there's like this obvious delay with one of the hands. Like one hand goes in, the other one's like, mm, then it goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And because they use the same footage over and over. Okay. Also, also when it's a uh, chest. Uh... Like blinked. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Dragon Swords is one of the coolest things ever. Yeah. Yep. Or Dragon Caesar. <laughs> yeah. God, it's such a weird name for it. <clears throat> um, is the next news any Power Rangers related? or That's about it, unless you have something Well, else. I have something. I, I, I have one more thing, but it's like, it's Ultraman related. Okay, well, let, let me fix it. So we're not going without it. Um, I'm going to no. say, uh, this was recently announced... Now, I don't know what the hell this means for the behind-the-scenes going on, because apparently this movie has, like, seven goddamn writers at this point. <laughs> the Mighty Morphin, the new movie coming out, a new writer has joined their ranks, one who I'm a fan of, uh, Max Landis. Oh, yeah, you may know him as the son of John Landis, the guy who did American Werewolf and uh, the Blues Brothers and all that. 2000. Ma- yeah, yeah. He also did that one, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> um, no, Max Landis, his son, he's written Chronicle, American Ultra... And Victor Frankenstein. I like he, Chronicle. Yeah, Chronicle's cool. I like his other two movies too. They're they're decent enough. Um, you all might also know him if you're a weirdo like me from his appearance on Red Letter Media, where he joined <laughs> the boys in like a, there was a first one. <laughs> you should have stayed in hell, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Something good. he said. Max Landis. I'm a fan of him. I'm glad he's uh, in this. The funny part about him being a writer for Power Rangers is in that Red Letter Media video we watched, he was wearing a multicolored shirt. Well, because he's gay. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least I really think he is. <laughs> I oh, think... I'm pretty God, sure. I hope so! No, I'm pretty sure. I think he mentioned that. <laughs> Ichi, can we, can we make this the thumbnail for Extra Extra? Can you also what put... What the Ma- fuck? Can you also put Max Landis in there? It's Alan with a blender. <laughs> what does that have to do? No, not blender. It's a Keurig coffee maker. <laughs> That's what the menu loader kind of looks like. Yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> okay, no, so. I, I love the fiddle. Like this is face. Just, I'm gonna fucking make coffee. <laughs> okay, send that to me. I okay. fucking sorry. need. Some I, I, I should say, sorry, Mac, no, no. I know just because I need to clear this up. I don't think Max Landis is gay. At least I'm not positive. <laughs> I just know he's a big supporter of gay rights. Okay. So, <laughs> so he says curing mega brew load. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of this episode of Next Extra. <clears throat> uh, oh, sure. Oh, Lord. That's great. Just, anyway, just, just a complete non sequitur to anything we talked about. Complete tangent. Just mega brulot. <laughs> mega brulot. Uh, and last on the news. There has been there have been some talkings about the next Ultraman series. Yay. Uh, an image was put out, and apparently the series is named Ultraman Orb. Okay. Okay, even I have to admit, this guy looks awesome. That reminds me of something, like, severely. Yeah, oh my god. You know know what it is? He looks like Deller Knight from Akiba Ranger. Yes, that. Hey, there's Tiga! And Tiga and OG Ultraman standing on either fucking side of him. And Tiga and and all original Ultraman are dying. (laughs) As you can see, just their gems are glowing red. They're not flashing, how would you tell if they were? Because it's Fair. a fucking static image. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, but usually when it's in the red, that means they're dying. We all know about Staryu. Yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this guy actually looks pretty fucking awesome. It's like he's got armor. Also, his he's sword, reminding... Also, the sword he's holding, the fucking hilt of it, looks like Tiga's transformation device. He's That's probably of something, too, but I can't put my finger on it. Mm. Oh, well. But that's it for news. Yeah. Um... Oh, well, we did get some leaks to uh, some sounds for uh, Grateful Damashi. I guess that's not it for news! I, I talked about that before. Did you? I mentioned we got the sound rips from the game. We oh, did. okay, no. I guess that is it for news! But it was interesting, though, how, how like, um, it kind of, when you hear Grateful Damashi sound, it kind of sounds like a freaking, like a hoedown or something. That's well, I always yeah. considered a Grateful, I always considered Grateful Dead to have more of like a mellow kind of rock sound. Oh, wait, you're talking about toys. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about one of the greatest bands of all time. Bachi, me, uh, I still can't believe. I mentioned this one. Yeah, I still yeah. can't believe they're actually calling it Grateful Damashi. Grateful yep. Damashi. No, I, I, I'm just amazed. They're actually like like uh, like uh, referencing a band. That's amazing. Or maybe it's because it's grateful because you know it's all fifteen. It's Grateful Dead. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, I know. You okay. made that joke. Uh-huh. That was funny. <laughs> but right. that is it for news. Unless anyone has anything else to say. Um, oh yeah, and other news. Uh, sell you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I brought the gun back! I have a thing also. No! <laughs> Good night, everyone! <laughs>